Hi guys, Marguerite here. I'm going to show you guys how I do a bang trim, how I do my own bangs. At the salon, a bang trim will run you around um, 11 to $12 plus a tip, plus the girl's going to try to sell you some shampoo or conditioner or whatever. So, plus gas. So I'm saving you guys a bunch of money with this video. So, um, um, let's see. I'm going to show you guys exactly step by step how I cut my bangs. Um, my hair is pretty wavy and I need to do my bangs. My bangs are getting long. Not right now because you guys, it's wavy, but when I flat iron my bangs, they get pretty long over my eyes. So a normal person would say to wet the hair, wet the bangs with water, comb it, cut it, and I don't do it like that because the hair, as I said in another video, the hair can stretch up to 40 or more percent. And um, so, and I know with bangs, you know what I'm talking about. When you cut your bangs at home, you wet them, you cut them, and they're like, they dry and they shrink. And you're like, oh my gosh, my bangs are so short and you got to go to work tomorrow or wherever you got to go tomorrow. And so I'm going to show you guys how to cut your bangs so that you don't have to worry about um, having them sh too short after you're done cutting them and uh, giving you guys instructions on how to do a precise haircut, cute style, wispy bangs. So this is exactly how I cut my bangs. This is how I would normally cut my bangs. I'm just going to run you guys through it. So the first thing I do is I get a flat iron because my hair is wavy. So I get a, my flat iron. by It's by Baby Bliss Pro and it has um, a dial up to 230 de degrees Fahrenheit. It gets pretty hot. I don't do it that high. I think I go 180 degrees, which is really, really hot, but that's how I do it. So I get my comb and I'm going to flat iron my bangs. I'm real precise. See, as you can see, my bangs are growing longer because I am straightening them out. Oh. And, I see. and I can't see. I, now you guys can see I need a bang trim. a mirror to help guide me so that helps a lot yeah I can't see anything so I definitely need to trim my bangs okay so that's how <clears throat> you get your hair straight let me turn this off that's how you get your hair straight ready for um, a bang trim so that you don't have to wet it. First thing I do, oh, I do want to talk to you guys about scissors. Um, when you do, when you start cutting your hair at home, you definitely need sharp scissors. Um, okay, so my scissors are very expensive. They're $400 scissors. They're Hisaki Shark Fin Professional Shears, and they come in a case, and they have a lifetime guarantee, and they are amazing scissors and so I know you guys don't need to get four hundred dollar scissors to cut your hair at home I recommend getting uh, inexpensive scissors at Sally Beauty Supply um, just get anything in your budget try to get really sharp scissors if you already have shears which are called scissors shears people call them different things if you have shears at home already that you have and but they're dull and you don't want to buy another pair of scissors, I recommend that you go to a um, place, well, where I live, they have a place at the mall, like a sword store um, slash knife store, and usually you could get them to sharpen your scissors for you for really cheap. So I would get your pair of scissors that you got at Sally Beauty Supply or a beauty supply store and have them sharpen your scissors while you're going out in the mall shopping. Um, 
should be pretty cheap so that you don't have to spend the extra money on buying a whole new pair of scissors. The first thing I do is I use, as a guide, I use where I like my hair to, I like long bangs, I don't really like short bangs, I like it over the eyebrow. So I prefer my bangs to be right at the um, eyelid crease. So I'm going to get the center because whenever I do any haircut, I always start at the center and work my way this way and then work my way this way. And I also like my bangs kind of at the edges. I like them kind of curved. I don't like them straight across. So I'm going to use my comb. Ugh. This is weird doing this in front of a camera, but um, that's right about where and you want to do a close-up. I'm going to just go ahead and do this and you guys watch. And my hair, it's going to be all over my face, don't worry. And it's all over my eyes. As you get to um, the arch, where I like to do, I like to start curving it right at the arch. I like to start bending the cut is my guide. Just use your face as a guide. <laughs> and I just blend it in with the hair. Like I said, this is just a trim, nothing too dramatic, and I like, I like long bangs. So you, because I know there's a lot of people that say, I want to get a haircut, but I don't want to look like I got a haircut. So this is kind of like that, where you don't have to worry about, oh, in a couple days my hair will grow out better. So it will never, nobody will ever even think you got a hair, uh, your trim, your bangs trim, because it's not that. Because you want to do it long. Okay. And this is what I do. Ooh, slice. I'll get to that in a different video. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's all over. <laughs> I need tissue, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take all the hair off my face, but why should I? Because I'm going to do another step. Now, that's where I want the length. That's exactly where I want the length of my hair to be. On this side, it needs to be a little bit more trimmed. These are really sharp scissors, so like I said, sharp scissors are the way to go. So you get a haircut exactly how you want it. Okay, that's still pretty long, but anyways, it's where I want it to be, so, okay. Now, you could, I don't know, I don't want you to close up right now. I just want to let them know that um, after you do the length of your bang trim, now we're going to do two styles of texturizing the bangs. Uh, this is how I do my bangs. Again, I keep telling you that. I'm going to do, we could do a close-up of the first way I texturize my bangs. I get these scissors and I just, I angle them like this. Not like this, like this. So I'm going to, so I'm going to do one. I'm just going to 
kind of eye it so you break up the strong line I don't want that line there I want to break up the line so I'm just gonna My bangs are really thick, so you could just go eye how you're... If your bangs are thin, don't do it too much. If your bangs are thick, you could do it, and your, bang, your bangs will be forgiving because they're thick like mine. See how um, you see that clump of hair? So that's where you would want to cut into it to kind of break it up. Okay, now, whew, forgive me for all the hair. Anyways, you want to comb out your hair, comb out all the little hairs. Now, the second step for texturizing your bangs, this is the last step I do for my bang trim at home. And I use these. These are texturizing shears okay sorry these are texturizing shears can you see the teeth on them they have yeah. um, there's no teeth on here there's just teeth on there and these are called texturizing shears so that's what I'm gonna do right now you're gonna trip out a little bit how I do this but I oops I go all the way up like there. I'm not going to cut my hair off, I swear. It's magic. One, two, three. Then you get the piece right here. One, two, ah, did I do three? <laughs> okay, so you get second, this section. One, two, three. And I'll get the little corner. One, two, three. Okay, now you get um, the small bristles of your comb and you twist your hair and you have all the hair come out. And what you're doing is you're making your hair texturize, wispy, and all the hair will come out when you wash it. But this is how I cut my bangs at home. And as you can see, they're still long, but they're wispy. They're not as thick. Um, this is, ooh, there's hair everywhere. Okay. Anyways, it was weird that I did that in front of the camera instead of in the bathroom, like how I normally do it. But that is how I, <laughs> that's how I do my bangs every time. And I, and I don't go to the salon. I do it myself. And so, um, first I want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my bangs. And it will grow out a couple days. Um, be fine. <laughs> um, hair everywhere. So, anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, everybody in the U.S. and um, around the world that are watching my videos. I really appreciate it. But I'm really surprised that the um all the views i'm getting in india which i'm very very flattered and thank you guys so much in india for uh supporting my videos and all the views i get from um well on one particular video um but i want to thank india i'm really shocked that i'm really flattered that everybody in india likes my videos um because you guys have the most beautiful hair in the world and the most sought after hair in the world and everybody in the US pays big, big, big money for your hair, for your virgin hair that you guys sell to us and it's amazing um, that you guys watch my videos um, to take care of your hair and that's a huge compliment. So I just want to thank everybody that watches my videos and likes and shares and um, it would mean a lot to me if you haven't subscribed already to please subscribe. It's free for you to subscribe, but it it helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate all the love and support.